Okay, so here's the challenge. Go for a flight with the DJI Mavic, and it's recording. I'm using an iPad Mini as my uh, control display, and it's recording that flight data in the iPad Mini. How do I get that information on that flight path from the iPad Mini onto Google Earth? Pretty simple. I'm going to use a PC set up here and show you how to run through this. You just need a couple things. Obviously, your iPad connected into the PC. You need iTunes. There's going to be a third-party app we're going to use that's extremely user-friendly called Air Data, and then into Google Earth itself. So let's get started. So once you have your iPad connected to the PC, launch iTunes. And in the upper left corner here, you see this tablet icon. You want to click that, and that's going to give you an additional menu set here in the left-hand side. You want to click File Sharing, and this is going to open the iPad itself, and it's going to show you the DJI Go 4 app. Click that, and that'll show you the main folders and files within that app. And for Apple users, you want to use the Flight Records folder. Click that, hit the Save button, and now it's going to give you the option of where you want to save it on your computer. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and select the desktop. I'm going to select that folder. And now you can see in the top of the screen is copying files from the iPad over to the PC. Now, once everything is copied, you can go ahead and close iTunes. And you see here in the desktop, there's that folder which is copied. If you open it, now you see it's full of text files. Each one of these text files, it's the raw data information captured from each one of the flights. You see it by date. Now, through your browser, go to airdata.com. If you don't already have an account, you're going to have to set one up. It's very easy. It's just username, password, very hassle-free. Once you're in, go to my log and hit the upload. So here I've gone into the desktop, into the folder that we just dumped down from the iPad. I'm going to go ahead and select the recent file from a recent flight. Hit open. And then upload the flight. Click that. And you can see it uploading. It takes a little time to process and, and render on the screen even after it gets uploaded. Now it presents you with a display on that flight path. So you can enlarge it, go to a larger map. You can do a lot of things with this on that Air Data app itself. It's a great app, but here we're going to download this data into a KML file. I'm going to save it onto my desktop like I did before. Got that KML reference to it. So now that is saved to my desktop like any other KML file. Now let's go ahead and open Google Earth. I'm going to go to the upper left-hand corner of Google Earth. I'm going to hit File, Open. It's asking where to find it. This goes straight to my desktop. I select the file we just downloaded. Click Open. And there it is. So that's how you get from flight to Google Earth. Hope that helps.